here is a piece of utility furniture that was used at the Weeks and Gilson factory in Stoddard, New Hampshire. That was a glass blowing factory. And uh, we know that it's a Weeks and Gilson piece because it's, uh, first of all, early period, it's a mid, uh, mid 19th century, but it's also debossed with Weeks and Gilson on a few of the drawers. It is also debossed with L. Weeks for Lumen Weeks, who was the, one of the uh, proprietors of the factory. On top of the Weeks and Gilson cabinet is uh, a few whiskey uh, jars, whiskey bottles. Uh, the jars on the right hand side were made from actual whiskey molds. Uh, the ones in the center are embossed Weeks and Gilson and Weeks Glassworks. Uh, and then the other ones are Master Ink and a whis whiskey bottle. Here are some free blown wares from the Stoddard glass factories. A uh, number of uh, jars and uh, bowls and uh, pans. Uh, there's also a master salt, a large demijohn. Uh, this was typical commercial production of the Weeks uh, and Gilson factories and of the Mill Village factories. Stoddard is very well known for the medicine bottles that were produced in the mid-19th century. Uh, many of the merchants wanted to uh, advertise their products on the bottles and uh, Stoddard was one of the uh, factories that did a lot of private molds. Uh, here we see a few uh, medicine bottles and uh, going up uh, some more medicine bottles. If you stop right here on the left hand side you'll see two flag flasks and the flag flasks are very iconic. Um, flasks that were produced at the New Granite Glassworks. They've got a 13 star flag on the front and a New Granite Glassworks started in New Hampshire on the back. Okay, here's some more medicine bottles. Some of them are very rare and hard to obtain. There may have been a very small amount of them that were pr produced for merchants. So today they're very difficult to acquire. Uh, and here we see some inks. The ink bottles uh, range in different sizes. Most of them are cones or, uh, or smaller utilities or umbrellas. Um, and those were very common at the, at the period. And here's some smaller medicine bottles as well and blackings and utilities. Up above, we've got some, uh, an assortment of different bottles uh, from uh, clover leaf pickle bottle to other medicines and then some whiskeys and uh, yeah, gins. Here's an assortment of Stoddard glassware um, products. Uh, we see a number of different medicine bottles and blacking bottles. Uh, the ones on top of the little blue box are snuff jars and then there's one that has a uh, insert into a, a metal case and that could have been used during the Civil War era and having a, the case being the, the, the drinking compartment for them. And in the center uh, we see some flasks, some of the double eagle flasks. Um, some of the lettered new granite uh, or granite glassworks flasks and then we see a, a, a number of large jars and uh, demijohns and all around are some tools and some uh, shards that were dug at the factory sites. Below that are some mineral water bottles. During the 1860s uh, mineral waters really started to take off and started uh, factories were a big source for these mineral water bottles. We also see another large assortment of uh, fragments and shards that were dug at the factory sites.